Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're going to jump right in and read a scripture out of Acts 4, verses 13 through 15. The members of the council were amazed when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, for they could see that they were ordinary men with no special training in the scriptures. They also recognized them as men who had been with Jesus. But since they could see the man who had been healed standing right there among them, there was nothing the council could say. So they ordered Peter and John out of the council chambers and conferred among themselves. You know, there's lots of awesome things in this scripture that we could talk about. But the main thing that jumps out at me every time I read it is they also recognize them as men who had been with Jesus. To me, that's what being a Christian is all about. It's about living our lives in a way um, that people can see the character of Jesus, the love of Jesus, and the compassion of Jesus in us. You know, I think, do people recognize me as someone who has been with Jesus? Um, Sometimes I hope so. I'm sure a lot of times they probably don't. Um, But I know Peter and John had physically been with Jesus, you know, because he was here on earth with them. But what are ways that we can be with Jesus, and how do people see that in us? Some ways we can be with Jesus is we spend time in prayer. We spend time in worship. We spend time reading our word. You know, we don't know how to reflect Jesus if we're not reading our word and knowing what his word says. We don't learn his character until we read his word and take time. So there's two quick observations that I want to talk about. The first is compassion. You know, Peter and John were moved with compassion when they saw the lame man. They saw him in his pain and his setback, and they stepped into the situation to help They didn't step in using their own strength and their own power. They were vessels, and they were vessels bringing healing and hope to this man. But it was the power of Jesus in them that brought the healing. If we lack compassion, we will miss opportunities to serve people and to show people that we have been with Jesus and to be a vessel to bring hope and healing to them. So the second thing is boldness. Peter and John healed a lame beggar and then began to preach the message of Jesus. The temple police and religious leaders confronted and arrested them because they were preaching that Jesus had been raised from the dead. And this was not okay to do by them. They're standing trial before the religious leaders of their day. And this must have been extremely intimidating. Here God has just used them to heal a lame man. And now they're on trial for it. Instead of backing down, the Bible says that they spoke with boldness about who Jesus was and what he did on the cross. You know, we may not be facing trial now in our times. We might not go facing trial. But um, what about criticisms and opposing beliefs that we might have in our workplace, um, in our circle of influence, with friends, with family, with different people? If we stand boldly for what God has called us to and what his word says, then he will always have our back. So this week, I want us to take some time. I want us to examine ourselves and see, do people see that I have been with Jesus when they see me? How am I treating others? What is my attitude like? How do I respond to others? Am I critical Do I notice people in their pain and setbacks like Peter and John did? And do I step in to help? Am I getting in people's pain and allowing myself to be a vessel that Jesus can work through to bring healing and hope? The second thing I want us to do is what is an area that God is calling me to be bold in right now? You know, we're all faced with situations that can be um, intimidating and we don't know how to take the next step. But let's be challenged this week to first operate in compassion, to let people know that we have been with Jesus, because that's the only Jesus some people may ever see, and also to stand up with boldness, no matter what opposition we're facing. So let's take a minute and pray. Lord, we come to you now, and we just thank you so much for this time. We thank you for your word. We thank you that your, your word never returns void. We thank you that you are speaking to individual hearts today. I thank you that you see people in their pain and in their setbacks. 
Lord, I pray that you would give us a heart to stop and to see. And may we be like Peter and John and move with compassion to others and also stand up and speak with boldness for you and what you've done on the cross. We thank you for all you've done for us and we love you and we praise you. We ask all this in your son's name. Amen. Thank you.